This is the Joe Caprino special, these Indiana guys, right? Yeah. This is the Indiana Matt Hoosier preseason open <laughs> heavyweight final. <laughs> but here at Cliff King Las Vegas finals, we got Mason Paris in the blue for Michigan, taking on in the white, Lucas Davis in Northwestern. Neither one of these guys afraid to shoot. I don't think this is gonna be your traditional heavyweight hand fight. There you see it. Heavy hips from Davison off the single for Mason Paris. Mason loves that single leg. He'll get your elbow and hits a nice dump and he's got a good just straight on double leg. But he finishes well head outside and that served him well in his match against Wyatt Hendricks says, you see another single leg fired from Lucas Davison, but oh! what in the world? Picked him straight off to Davison. Chest wrap action and flying off the mat. Davison is so strong for his size. You know, he's, he's definitely smaller. And that did not feel good. Mason Paris looking over at the corner, kind of tapping his neck. Yeah. Man, wincing too on the way back. KJ says, shake it off. Yeah, he may think twice about getting right back under. Just an ins insane power on that lift. Well, there's that single again. Now drape, double ankles for Lucas Davison. And staying on that far ankle is Davison. And now looking for maybe neutral danger zone is Mason Paris, but has not broken 90. Gets the foot on the mat. It's a good adjustment for Paris. And no, he gets out of danger for a moment, but he still, it, there's potential for giving up the takedown as Mason's improving slowly. If he can step and scoop that ankle, he's in good position. There's the nature danger takedown. Good adjustment for Paris, but Davison right back at it. And now, could it be a reversal? It's close, and he's got that foot. Is that not two? Oh! Wow, I thought that was two. Paris has but not awarded. They're still saying Mason is on top, and there's a reversal. It's two, two, and they're gonna take and a look. And what do you do if you're Matt Storniello? Do you? Yeah, it, it probably doesn't make a difference for the challenge because Now, if they go back and say no takedown, then they're gonna they're gonna go back to that that point, right, on time, and it'll yeah. be zero zero. I guess it's it's low risk because uh, they would lose the riding time if it gets wiped, right? Yeah, because Davison can't earn a earn points for that. Yeah, if they overturn the initial takedown. Yeah, so it's gonna be either two two or zero zero. Man, we got a lot of really nice hair on the stage right now. You got Mastorniello, <laughs> yeah. you've got the Michigan trainer. It's a real who's who. It's it's one of the one of the biggest internal conflicts when you're watching wrestling is seeing that Michigan trainer on the mat. Because you you want to see that that skull it on camera, but you also don't really want him yeah. out there because that means somebody's probably yeah. hurt. Yeah, they should switch to uh, check him out. Yeah, this, this, is, this guy deserves a spotlight a little bit. All right, so. 2-2 two, two remains the score. Davison on top, and Paris with 55 seconds to escape in the period to take a lead. All right, so Davison going to work to ride here as much as that's possible against someone like Mason Paris. Now, Davison, he had so many mat returns in his semifinal match. It was very, very impressive top performance. But against Mason Paris, it's a different sort of predicament. There turns and cuts, and Davison drops down. Oh, the bounce is 3-2. Mm -hmm. Escape for Mason Paris. Mason Paris rarely stops shooting in a match, so no. We may see another attack in the next 25 seconds. Davison stabs at a high single, not there. Now 
Now just 10 remaining. A pretty exciting first period, a lot of attacks, a lot of the action generated from Mason Paris, and then Lucas Davidson had some nice moments himself. 3-2 after one for Mason Paris. Davidson is going to go underneath. Up to his feet right away is Lucas Davidson. And a immediate escape makes it 3-3. Davidson continuing to kind of stab at that right-sided single leg. Shot, Paris. Nice double. And they go off the mat. And you wonder, could, could Mason earn a stall call against Davison? He's been so much more offensive. Yeah. It's the only way he knows. Yes. Yeah, and, and not just offensive, but going off the mat multiple yeah. times, striking fear into the hearts of the photographers. Heavy snap now. Davison closing off, taking a little bit of ground. There's a shot all oh, looking re-attack as Mason Paris to go off the mat out of bounds. Action call on the edge. Really nice re-attack there for Paris, but I think Davison was pretty well aware of his position as related to the edge of the mat. For sure. Minute seven to go in the second period. As Davison grabs an elbow, then posts. Forty-five to go in the second. There's that same single leg, and you can tell Lucas does not want to hit his knee and be all the way underneath. Now reattack from Davison after the shot, and they go off. Whoa! Action is the call, and I do appreciate the consistency because Paris is taking yes. Davison off the mat in similar ways. Bet those table workers saw, the, saw their life flashing before their eyes there. Yeah, these guys are keeping a lot, of, a lot of people on their toes. Still hand fighting hard there. Snapping off is Lucas Davison and the second period ends. Head to the third, Mason's got choice, he's going under. Davison wanted, wanted to give himself as much time as possible on his feet to find a takedown. And so, gets Paris the escape. It's a shot, but he's way extended. Not where you want to be if you're Lucas Davison. You'd be happy for a stalemate here. There he hips up in. Now in decent position, they give the two. And he's behind. Davison reached under and grabbed a foot, but Paris on top. 6-3. That's one of those positions where they, may, they maybe could have waited a little longer, but it was going to be, it was going to happen. It did. They go out of bounds. 122 remaining in the third. Paris in good shape now. Got himself some breathing room, and you can see why Davison was reluctant to, to pull the trigger and overcommit, over pursue on a leg attack, because when you're under the hips of Mason Paris, really tough to recover, but now looking for a reversal off the switch to Davison, but Paris doesn't fight, it just lets him go, making it 6-4, riding time not a factor. You can see the look Paris in Davison's favor. eyes, he knows he can, he, he believes he can get this. Yes. It's a single leg, now he comes up. Underhook on that right side, now over and under, 38 seconds to go. Davison likes these upper body positions. 33, now 
looking for double unders, but Mason hand fighting well as they're on the edge, out of bounds. Action call. Coach Jackson wants to see Mason control the tie-ups better. 24 seconds to go. Yeah, I see what Coach Jackson means for as big as Mason Paris is. Davidson able to get to his underhooks and snap there off the shot. A little outside step attempt there for Lucas Davidson is not there. Another shot fake with four seconds to go. And that's going to do it. Mason Paris going to be your winner. 6-4, and that's... <laughs> he won't stop wrestling. But it's over. It's, it's been over, but Mason Paris, the winner. Lucas Davison, impressive. And a little tension in the air. Yeah, he, uh, Mason Paris did not appreciate the after the whistle single leg.